Yeah, the dabber YouTube. What's up, boys and girls? It's your boy Zockstar once again coming at you with another vlog. On today's vlog, we're going on the reef and wreck tour here in Koron. Not sure how this is going to go. I heard from others that it's a fair way away, so I'm not sure if they're going to drive us there or we're in for a one and a half or a two hour bouncy boat ride. I'm not sure, but. Oh, the way it's calm outside, there's not much wind. Hoping to get some nice footage today because it's going to be sunny. Um, what else can I say? Yeah, we're just waiting now for our van. It's five past seven. Uh, might go down for a quick brekkie. Um, but apart from that, everything is looking good. So without any further ado, let's Scooby Doo. Okay, so we're on the boat now. We're just waiting for some fins and some snorkels to be uh, rented from the rental place here. You can't get them anywhere else except here at the dock. So we're just going to get a couple for the rest of the passengers and then we should be heading off, so let's hope that's soon. We've been here for almost over an hour. Even though they tell us to pick up 7, 7.30, it's quarter past nine, so let's hope we get moving soon. We've got like an hour, an hour boat ride to the first destination and 40 odd minutes between islands and then another one and a half hours to come back. So it's going to be a long day on the boat. So. Fingers crossed it's a nice smooth ride and we get there and arrive back safely. So we'll see you soon. Alright, so we're just pulling the anchor up, backing the boat up, turning it around, and we'll be rolling shortly. because we're not on wheels, we'll be floating. So let's float away. Crystal clear here. 
That'd be about three metres deep, I'd say. You can see straight down to the bottom. So this is our first destination. Anthony! Everybody, uh, welcome here in uh, Lusungan boat. So, if you guys see that uh, many people doing snorkeling, so it means when you go there, you're going to see the sunken ship, okay? So that's why uh, the front of the shipwreck, it's let's say uh, zero meters, so you can stand, you can stand on the front. Okay. At the back, let's say almost five meters uh, deeper. Yeah. So good for snorkeling to explore the marine life, especially the sunken ship. Okay. Yeah. So we have 30 minutes maximum to stay here. Okay. And after that, uh, we're going to our next stop, which is the Luzon Coral Garden. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. So you heard it. See how clear that is. Alright, let's put this Sony away and get the GoPro and jump in.
Hi, uh, welcome here in Pasaylan. So one of the longest flights on here. So a lot of people already on the island or let's say on the beach. So maybe we're going to uh, take our lunch here in the boat. Then after you eating that lunch, that lunch, you can go down to make explore this white sand, okay? Okay. So just give it for a minute because we're going to be ready. Okay, so we've just finished lunch at Pass Island and um, we're going to go for a bit of a swim. Two or three drones flying around, little Mavics, little Sparks. I didn't bring mine after yesterday's episode in the boat. I thought we'd probably end up sinking today or drowning ourselves and the drone, so I didn't bring it with me. But don't worry, we've got plenty more opportunities in El Nido when we get there. So. We're just going to go for a bit of a swim here, a bit of a snorkel, and then move on to our next destination. So, we'll just see you then. Okay, so we've had our swim, we're off to our next destination. So, we'll see you when we get there. It's right. one of the deeper shipwrecks here in Coron. Yeah. Actually, we have more than 13 uh, shipwrecks sunk here at this, on this part, but uh, only this one is smaller. The bigger one is the Kugyu Maru, the Thai Maru, something like that. Good for diving. Yeah. The shallow part, it's the, the Lusungan boat, the first one. Did you yeah. remember our first one? Yeah. So that's zero meters. During the low tide, you can stand yeah. on the front. Yeah. Okay, this one is the uh, last okay. destination. So I think it's called the Istangut. Istangut. If you're tired, go out and have a bit of a look on this one as well. It says it's about seven meters under the water. I'm not sure if we're going to see it because there's no sun here. It's gone in behind the mountain here. This little island. But we'll give it a go anyway.
these guys just getting back in from the water. Okay, so backing up. Heading back. Heading back to the box. safe now we're just in the van we're waiting for I guess other tourists to arrive in their other other boats so they can all join us in the van as they do a drop-off the sun's going down for another 20 30 minutes the sun will be down and as you can see all the boats are slowly coming in so we're just obviously we're the first in the van to take us back these vans they sort of uh, Hard to explain how they operate. They're all sort of connected with certain hotels, certain tours. Um, you, if you're in a hotel, you're staying in that place and you want to do one of the tours, they just put your name down, they bring you down here. Once they pick you up in the morning in the van, they just herd you into these boats, whichever one's available, wherever there's a seat available, they just stick you in. They stick you in. Today, unfortunately, we got, we got the, uh, the, the raw end of the stick, the shitty end of the stick. Um, we had a pretty disappointing tour. The boat was cr food was um, two seasons. Absolutely disgusted in you guys. We're paying ridiculous amount to stay in your hotel and this is the sort of tour you guys are operating. Shame on you. You should have quality tour boats. You have, you have large boats here that's comfortable that's wide that's you know it's that's what you that's what you'd expect when you're paying two three hundred dollars a night in a in a really good hotel but it feels like we were staying in like a backpackers place and they just threw us on any any boat they could find um, the last island that we stopped off I did have a little bit of footage there but we couldn't even get off the boat um, the guy just said oh there's too many people so we're just going to have lunch here and then we can just go for a swim. Not happy. Not happy at all. But that's what you're going to expect when you come to Coron or even El Nido, depending on which tour you're booking your, ho uh, your tours from or which hotel you're staying in, whichever operators they use. You could get a good deal, you could get a shitty deal. So my recommendation is if you're coming to Coron, come down here the day before. Come down here the day before the tours operate, come around at about, about the 5, 5 o'clock, 5.30, and look at the boats. Look at the big boats. You'll see the big boats, you'll see the small boats. When I say boats, the bunker boats. You saw all on the previous video, as we're coming in, we're getting drenched, and there's nothing you can do. 
Um, whereas, like I said, if you come down here during the during the evening and look at some of the bigger boats, you'll see they sit higher up in the water. They have more protection from the waves. If they if, if you're in choppy seas, especially when you're coming in from that side and you're coming back here, the wind blowing across, and you're going to get some big chop. You're going to get big chop, and when those waves are splashing up, splashing up on the boat, those waves are coming straight into the boat, like you saw on my previous video. So, word of warning come down the day before, check out the boats and ask which tour operators are these, where are they going, and hopefully you might find yourself on a good boat with a good lunch, barbecue, maybe a buffet lunch, and you'll enjoy yourself. Um, so yeah, we're just waiting on a couple more people to come in off their boats, and then we're heading back to the hotel. So I'll sign off for now, and I'll catch you back at the hotel. Cheers, guys. All right, we're back. Oh my God, my hands are full. Just drop, just drop it there. My hands are full, woman. Can't you see I'm blogging? <laughs> Let me just drop some. They're busy. They're busy. All right. So we're back. Sons. I was going down, there's another fire over there. So they've got a few fires burning today. Anyway, we're back here. Another beautiful sky here in Koran. Another few minutes and those colours should intensify. But as you can see there is a haze. And like I've been thinking all the time, oh there's another fire over there. Oh that's probably the one that we saw on our way in. Oh wow that's huge. That's up there on the ridge, it's coming all the way down through that sort of a gully. Doing like a bit of an S-band going over the top of the other one. Yeah, I think that, that's the other side of the mountain we saw as, I, as we were coming back into um, into the dock or back towards the Koran uh, town. So, as I was saying, as I got interrupted with the fire, um, that's why there's always a haze here. I don't know if you can see it that well, but like whenever you look around towards these mountain mountainous ridges and that, there's always a haze. And I think that's that's due to the burning off. Um, some of these mountains are pretty steep, so I don't think I don't think they have any animals that graze along here. Um, don't know about there. There's no reason for any fires to start over there. There's, no one really lives over this side. That's that's where all the the, tour, uh, the tours are over that side. So, but I could be wrong. They could do some burning off there as well. Anyone know if they do burning off over that side of the uh, over Koran? That's the main um, Kayangan Lake and uh, Barracuda Lake part of Koran. So if anyone knows whether they do any burning off, leave a leave a comment below. I'd like to know. So yeah, here we go. The colours are starting to intensify. I really need to be upstairs with my GoPro taking a time lapse. Because this camera doesn't really show the true colours. When you zoom in, it does. But then you don't see the full you don't see the full landscape, which is a bit of a shame. See the other fire over there, two fires, and sit, look see over there, look you can see that that whole that's the one. Yeah, I think that's the other side of the mountain we were watching before on our way back. So there you have it guys, another another day, another tour in Koran.